Okay, in the last video we looked at the first method um, we can use to balance symbol equations, the bubble method. And that is a really nice visual way of seeing uh, what atoms you've got on your equation, uh, being able to count them up nice and easily and then balance your equation. There are other uh, methods of doing it. Um, you don't have to use one method over another, you will never be asked for that, but some people prefer the bubble method, some people prefer other methods. In this video, we're going to look at a method called the table method, which unsurprisingly involves us drawing a table um, so we can count up our atoms um, nice and simply. Okay, we are going to look at um, two different combustion reactions um, in this video. Okay, now a combustion reaction is any reaction where fuel burns with oxygen. Okay, and we're going to particularly look at what we call complete combustion um, and we'll talk about what we make in these reactions and how to balance the equations. The first one we are going to look at is going to be the combustion of methane gas, which is CH4. Okay, and as I said, we're going to be reacting it with oxygen, O2. And in any complete combustion reaction where you have lots of oxygen, um, you are only going to make carbon dioxide and water. Okay, this is true for the combustion yeah. of any hydrocarbon. Okay, so hydrocarbon compounds that contain carbon and hydrogen only will always um, react with lots of oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water. Okay, in this table method, I'm going to start out just as I did before my bubble method by drawing a dash line straight down the middle. Okay, this time however, I'm not going to actually draw out using bubbles the um, um, how the atoms are arranged. I'm instead simply going to write them in a table. Okay, it is quicker this method. Um, however, you really need to understand what the um, uh, small numbers mean before you start using this method. Otherwise, you might hit, um, hit a brick wall. Okay, so I'm just going to write LHS left hand side there, right hand side there. Okay, and then underneath that, I'm going to write out the elements I have in my equation. Okay, so the first element is carbon, second one is hydrogen, and finally I've got oxygen. Okay, I'm going to do the same for the right hand side. Um, note that I'm going to keep the order the same here. I'm going to keep it CHO on the right hand side as well. This just makes it easier for me to compare them uh, when it comes to actually balancing the equations. Okay, so now all you've got to do is add up the number of each element we've got. So up here I've got CH4, I've got one carbon atom, and it's bonded or attached to four hydrogen atoms. Okay, I've also got two oxygen atoms on the left hand side of my equation. On the right hand side, I've got one carbon again. Um, I'm going to go to hydrogen now, so um, make sure you look for all the hydrogens. I've got one, two hydrogens. Oxygens, you must really um, take care here. In these uh, combustion reactions, you actually have oxygens in two different compounds. So I've got CO2 and H2O. So at the moment, I've got one, two, three atoms of oxygen. Okay, when it comes to balancing it, you always need to make sure you're comparing both sides of your table here. You're comparing left hand side with right hand side. At the moment, I have got one atom of carbon here on the left hand side. I've got one atom of carbon on the right hand side. That's fine. I've got four atoms of hydrogen here. I have got two atoms of hydrogen here. Therefore, I need to double up um, something on this side. Okay. My hydrogens all come from this um, water molecule here. I'm going to double up that water molecule. Okay. That is going to give me two extra hydrogen atoms, so I've got two lots of H2O now. So I'm going to cross that out and change that to four. I've also got an extra oxygen atom, okay, because I've got two lots of H2O. Each H2O molecule contains one oxygen. I've now got two lots of H2O, so I have got one, two, three, four oxygens. Okay, last thing I need to check now is my oxygens. I've got four oxygens here. I've only got two on this side. Okay, so I simply need to find out where my oxygens are here, which is here, double that up, and that will change that to four. Okay, so CH4 plus two lots of O2 gives me carbon dioxide and two lots of water. Okay, make sure you just check through at the end. Okay, I've got one and one carbon, that's fine. I've got four hydrogens and four hydrogens, that's fine. And I've got four oxygens and one, two, three, four oxygens. This is balanced. Okay. The second example I am going to um, go through is quite a lot trickier.
Okay, so this one is going to be the reaction for the combustion of ethane. Okay, now methane was CH4. Okay, there will be a video later on about how we work out the form of these, but ethane is C2H6. Okay, as it is a hydrocarbon, it will react with oxygen again, and it was going to form carbon dioxide and water. Okay, once again, I'm going to draw my table out. Okay, so make sure you have a line down the middle for left-hand side, right-hand side. Let's draw my table out. Okay, and I'm going to list the atoms I've got. Left-hand side, right-hand side. Okay, I've got carbons again, hydrogens, oxygens, and carbons, hydrogens, and oxygens. Okay, counting up my um, atoms now, I've got two carbons, six hydrogens, two oxygens. Okay, on the right side at the moment, I've got one carbon there. Hydrogens, I've got two. Oxygens, I've got one, two, three. Okay, so clearly I have a bit more to do in this, um, in this equation. Right, let's start off with our carbons. I've got one, two carbons here. I've got one there. I need to double up this CO2. Let's see that in a different color. Okay, so I've now got two lots of CO2. That's going to give me an extra carbon there and also an extra two oxygens. Change that to five. Okay, again, if you want to go back and count them up, that's fine. I've got one, two from the first lot of carbon dioxide, three, four from the second lot, and then a fifth oxygen that was on this water. Okay, let's go, um, go back again. I've got one, two carbons on that side, two there. Okay, I've got six hydrogens on the left-hand side, I've only got two on the right-hand side. Okay, to get this up to six, I need to have three lots of H2O. That'll give me three times two equals six hydrogen atoms. So let's change that to a three beforehand for there. That will change that to six. And your oxygens now, you've got one, two, three oxygens here, four, five, six, seven oxygens in total on the right hand side. Okay, and herein lies our problem. Okay, we've got seven oxygens on the right hand side. You have only got two oxygens on the left hand side. Okay, it's clearly impossible for us to have a multiple of two that gives us seven. Okay, so here's the trick with these equations. What we need to do now is to double up everything. Okay, if you think about it, if we double up all of these values here, we'll have four carbons, 12 hydrogens, and 14 oxygens. Okay, by doubling this up to 14, we can then balance up our left hand side to get the right number numbers. Okay, so let's start off by doubling up everything, okay? So I'm gonna put a um, two in front of that um, of there. I'm gonna leave this for the time being, so this is what I'm going to come back and balance at the end, okay? I need to change that two to a four, okay? Obviously, you might want to write this out again at the end, okay? And I'm gonna change that three to a six, okay? Now, if I count up my um, numbers, okay? Well, I'm, I'm basically going to be doubling these, aren't I? So that's what we'll change to a four. Okay, so C4, H12, and again, I'll leave this till the end. Okay, on this side, I've now got four carbons, 12 hydrogens, and 14 oxygens. Let's double check that. I've got six oxygens from there. I've got eight in total from here. Eight plus six is 14. Okay, right, so I've got 14 oxygens here. I've got two at the moment here. I need seven lots of O2 to balance that out. Okay, so seven lots there, we'll change this to 14. Okay, so hopefully this is now balanced. Four carbons, four carbons, 12 hydrogens, 12 hydrogens, 14 oxygens, 14 oxygens. That to me looks balanced. Okay, just at the end, you might want to write this out again because clearly you, it's a bit, looks a bit scruffy that, but that's fine. Okay, so you might just want to write it at the end. Two C2H6 plus seven O2. Is four CO2 plus six H2O. Okay, once again, I'm going to um, stress that if you would rather use the bubble method for this, that is absolutely fine, that is not a problem. In fact, with this example, I think it is easier to use the bubble method. Okay, but in general, if you do find yourself in a bit of a hole like we had here, if you double up everything in your equation, hopefully that will make it easier to solve. Okay, that is our solution there.